Flux 1.1 Pro has just released and it's the latest model from Back Forest Labs. I will show you exactly how this generates images now and I have to say it looks really good compared to the previous models. Let's first go to the website and before I show you how it generates images, let's go here and see what they say about it. So what they say about this is it's the most advanced and efficient model yet. Now to really see this, we have to try it out of course, but before I show you, let's also look at the ELO score here. You can see here Flux 1.1 Pro is at number one here. You can see here we have Mid Journey somewhere here in the middle and this is a lot better than the other ones. We also have Dolly all the way down here and you can also see the other models here. So using this metric, you can clearly tell this has to be the best model to generate art or just photos. Now here you can see how much it costs in cents and here we have Mid Journey somewhere down there and here we have the speed and you can see in the speed it's also the fastest from all these models. Now if you're wondering where can I use this model to try it out? Well, when you look at the site, you can see here it is available on Together, Replicate, Fall and Freepik. And I happen to have a account at Freepik. I have a partner account for AI at Freepik. So I'm going to show you exactly how the results are. So let's go to Freepik and here we're going to go to AI Image Generator because we want to generate an image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a couple prompts so we can really compare different results. So let's just write this one. A close-up shot of a beautiful woman in a busy street of a big city. So here you can see mode. We have Flux 1.1 Pro. It's still beta, but we can use it. Now for the size and all the other stuff like style, color, lighting and camera, I'm not going to change it. But when you look at this, you can here select easily what you want to do with your photo or artwork. So let's keep it at original one and I'm just going to generate. And you can see I can only generate one for now. So let's just generate one and see the result. Let's generate again because it's quite fast and we want to see different results from the same prompt so we can really compare those. And you can already see the quality looks amazing here. So let's first look at this one. You can see here, it looks great. Let's take this one for instance. When you generate an image like this, you can see here we have upscale. When I click on upscale, I can upscale to 4K. So I wanna go with none because when you use imagination, you cannot upscale to 4K, only 2K. So I'm gonna leave imagination at none and then I can use 4K because I wanna make this image bigger. Let's click on upscale and let's just wait till this is upscaled and so we can see how great this looks when it's even upscaled. And look at that, it's already done. Now you can see before we had this, now we have this, you can see how amazing the results are. And when you click here, you can download this in these pixel sizes. So this is pretty big, let's see. When I open up this image and then let's zoom in here so we can really see the quality and look at that. It looks amazing. Now let's go back and generate something really different. Let's just generate this. It's a black Lamborghini and some other cool stuff that we have in the prompt. And I want to see what it will look like with this new model. And I'm going to do four images because I want to see four images and not just one. All right. So the images are done and let's look at the first one. Look at that, this looks amazing. All those vibrant colors here. You can see the beautiful sunset there and the quality looks amazing. We can again upscale, but I'm not gonna upscale now. I'm gonna look at the other ones and this one also looks amazing. It just looks like a real photo. Let's look at the third one. In the dark, we get all these beautiful reflections of the car and this looks really like a beautiful evening photo. And the last one is more like in the daylight. You can see a beautiful depth of field there. If you want to upscale your AI art images up to 32K, check out this video where I show my favorite tool to upscale these images. This can also be just photos if you like. So thanks for watching this video and catch you on the next one.